Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Gloomhaven, and you join me in the middle of the scenario of the Burning Mountain, uh, where we're taking on loads of demons and golems, because uh, why not? Um, basically, we discovered the scenario because uh, lots of Inox were fleeing from this burning mountain, and then since we got here, we also discovered like corpses of Savas as well. So clearly, lots of activities being going down here, including if you look in the very final room, there's a Savas here who's uh, met a very unfortunate fate. Um, so yep, yeah, if you haven't seen the first half of this scenario, then feel free to feel free to check the video that's in the description of the video. And uh, I'll leave a sort of a, a card in the top right corner uh, that you can click on as well. But we're going to try and uh, complete the scenario now. And the objective is we just have to get this chest and then get out, basically. So we don't have to have to kill everything, but most likely we are going to kill everything along the way. Um, so I messed up a little bit last turn, allowing these Earth Demons to move as far forward. And I haven't got any way to stun them, except Cragheart has Forceful Storm which I can use to disarm all three, so that could be a way out of that. Uh, not much I can do with Spellweaver, I'll just have to do maybe a heal and a move or an attack and summon or move, we'll have to see. Um, Mind Thief, I'll probably want to keep Hostile Takeover for the next turn, just in case then once these things are disarmed, there's no point disarming and immobilizing them. So let's do a double attack with Brain Leech and Scurry. Yeah, I've been planning out my move a little bit off camera, and I think that's the best thing to do. And then, uh, i really like to try and get onto the door with Scoundrel. Ah, there's a trap here. Ah, oh, that's going to be annoying. Um, so I think someone's going to, unless these flame demons decide not to move again, I, uh, someone's going to get hit here. But if I'm going to move Scoundrel forward, heal again to positions in the turn after I can come out of invisibility and hit two of these demons hopefully with Trickster's Reversal. That's the way I'm going to have to do it. If I can only hit one, I, well, I can only hit one then. Uh, let's hope that's enough. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Uh, flame demons are moving and attacking. We've got a big range. So someone's going to get hit. Oh, of course the stone golems are doing a range attack. Oh, well, since Scoundrel's moving, Cragheart's going to tank all of that. Um, and Earth Demons, well, they're going to be disarmed, so that's not a problem. So let's uh, get Scoundrel prepared, giving a wee heal. And a move, and I'll jump to get f as far forward as I can. Do not stand on this trap, that's a terrible idea. I'm going to go invisible, so I don't want to get hit by all this lot. And then once Scoundrel's taken care of that, hopefully Scoundrel can get here, loot, and then start making our way back. Right. Okay. Is there a way... I've got backup ammunition. Can I... disarm this golem as well? Oh no, it's only four range. I have to move here. One, two, three... Ah oh, no, I'm out of range. No, no, no. Don't overcomplicate this. I'm, there's no, I'm, I'm wasting a backup ammunition. There's not much I can do about it. I need to disarm all of these three. That's just an imperative. So let's do that. Oh, I miss one of the attacks as well. That's annoying. Well, at least this one at the front is going to die. So I don't need to attack it. So I can maybe move forward with Scoundrel and hit one of the others. Um. Yeah. And then I'm not going to move Cragheart forward because I want maybe I can maybe I might be able to get away with only being hit by one golem. So let's just stay put with Cragheart. Right, mine thief. No point attacking this one. So I'm not going to get the strength in for the scurry attack, but yeah, there's not much I can do about it. Could I have gone more slowly with Scoundrel? Uh, maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe I should have done Mind Thief's turn first, disarmed this trap, and then Scoundrel could have jumped and got to here. Oh, but then Flame Demons probably would have beaten Scoundrel there. 
So I don't think it would have mattered. So I just have to make do with the scoundrel being there. Skip. Uh, nope, don't need a battle axe. I uh, hope I'll be able to use the battle axe at some point, but not right now. Oh well, never mind, I'll miss. Oh, an attack with a bomb half of brain leech. A little attack and then get strengthened. Which will be good for the next turn. Can't remember if I've used my stamina potion. Yeah, I have already. Um, my question is, am I going to be able to push one of these demons into this trap? Or should I get rid of it? Um, oh no, I don't have that card to push. Okay, no, I can't do that then. Right, I'm going to disarm this trap. Um, just so it frees up a space for the scoundrel to, to move into and do a, a battle axe attack. Do I go invisible? And then only be the... Only be um, spell we were getting hit. Ah, uh, yes. Because I got reviving ether, so if I burn a card with spell ether, it's not a spell. Spellweaver, there we go. It's not um, so critical. So you're going to move forward. Uh, of course, the elite one's going to be at the back. That's annoying. So my tricks is reversal. It's not going to be as potent. With, with monsters, they're lazy. They go for the laziest move possible. So they can only move. They only have to move one or two. They only move one or two. They don't move the full distance. Oh, only two are hitting. Oh, nice. Okay, that worked. Um, do I heal? Um, what's it like with cards? Oh, I'm going to have to rest. I could short rest, though. Oh, maybe I just attack, then. I can pop the um, summon down. Yeah, that could work. Be, try to be a little bit greedy and don't heal. Oh, there's a space here. Uh, oh yeah, it's not going to work with um, Scoundrel. Can I attack one of them? Damn. Well, let's, let's put the summon down. Another source of damage in here. And. I have to short rest or long rest. One of the two, probably short rest. Long resting is a bad idea. Oof. Okay, use up two of my armor pieces. Ah, then the other one's gonna hit. Ah, annoying. So he's gonna get dragged. Poor Krakow's gonna get dragged everywhere. I don't have earth, so I can't do upstairs void heaval. Oof. Hmm. I can't battle axe with a uh, mine thief. Maybe I have to battle axe with a mine thief against these two things. I don't have anything against to, to beat shields though, that's the problem. Um, right, one earth, I'm going to do a crag card. The fact that he's immobilized, that's going to make my choices somewhat uh, limited. Uh, I don't have. I don't have earth, so I can't really. Blunt force very well. Uh, this push isn't going to be enough to push into there. Mm. Maybe I do like blunt. F 
land force, get a little bit of retaliate, and I heal. And hopefully survive. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to have to short rest. Oh, absolutely not. That needs to be redrawn. Uh, I cannot lose reviving Aoife. Fortunately, I have the health to do it. Right. Uh, I will go quickly. Uh, the summon's probably going to get hit, though, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, actually, no, because I can attack with Mind Thief onto this thing, so it gets to uh, gets immobilized. Um, then I'll go invisible again. <sighs> Don't have my boots. How on earth am I going to kill this lot? I don't have jump. Otherwise, I could jump to here. Hmm. Um. Is there another way I can do this? Uh. If I smoke bomb, pull. Elite one in. Oh, but then that's blocked. I can't move to here. Damn. I really want to attack the elite one with Trickster's reversal. Hmm. Ooh, how annoying. I need to get a jump onto something, one of these cards. Just make it a little bit annoying if I just have the, the item. Um, maybe I just smoke on one of them and pull them towards me. I'm going to get hit twice. All the characters is not the one that I want. Uh, I need to go and get this chest and then run back. Well, let's mine thief goes because mine thief can loot all of this in one turn. Huh. You know what, I'm just going to do Trigger's Reversal and Smoke Bomb the Elite one. Just get that killed. And then figure out the rest. From I don't know what I'm going to do about this Earth Demon sitting here. I've got no way to kill that. That's going to be fun. Oh! Well, maybe I don't then. Flame Demon is doing a melee attack and is not moving. <sighs> hmm. Oh, Stone Golem is hitting really hard. Poor Crackheart. Ah, attacks the one that doesn't need to hit. That's annoying. Ah, classic. Um. Classic ally, right, okay. Um, oh, I'm an idiot, I was going quicker. I could have generated Earth for Crackheart. Maybe I still do that and I try and kill one of these things. Uh, yeah, because I've done some weeks so much. Ugh. Um, yeah, let's choose 
Ugh. Because then Kragheart could use it for blunt force and then doesn't heal. Hopefully we'll live. Um, oh, air is good because it counters them. So I'll use up the fire. Yeah, in case the flame demons go. Yep. How are we doing for cards? Oh, I could stun two things with cold fire next turn. Now, what's the speed like? Ah, uh, probably quick enough actually. Um, I shall be careful. I use my reviving ether at the correct time. Don't think I need to. Oh, in case I get a hit, I need to burn one card. It's unlikely. I could heal myself the turn after. Yeah. I really don't want to use tricks as reversal here. Oh, see, it feels so overkill. So I'm doing two. Yeah, I, need, I really want to hit the elite with it. You know what? I think I might just hit the elite. I'm going to take damage from this thing, but I want to get the elite one. Out of the way. And yeah, let's use my. Um... Oh, I could actually use my battle axe. Ah, oh, but I'm getting, I'm getting no value out of it here. Ah, uh, it's a little bit of damage. I, with mine thief, I might be able to kill it. I know. I am just going to use my battle axe against these two. I'm not. I'm not doing much damage against this thing. Um. But better than nothing. Yeah, and I'll poison this thing too. Right, okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh wow, absolutely annihilated. That flame demon. Don't even need the times to uh, the Eli goggles, but never mind. Um, do I have cards to burn? Yes, in case things attack me. Yep, one thing will attack me. Oh no, this thing might attack me too. That's annoying. I was only going to do two damage. I might, I might not need to burn a card. Um, Right, uh, you are so getting immobilized. Even though I might be able to kill this thing, I, I want to stop this elite one from moving. So let's do that. I don't move to this hex because that gives that flame demon two extra things to hit. Um, so. I'll just go invisible on the spot. Right. I wonder how Rumbling Advance works with the fact being immobilized. It should still trigger. Um, oh, they're hitting so much. I can kill the non elite one. I need to draw well. I think it's worth the risk, actually. Yeah, let's go for it. Attack the non elite one. And hopefully, if I just get, leave all my one health, I can then use Rumbling Advance. Ooh, that's like the worst <laughs> thing to get. Not the worst thing, which is so annoying. Oh well. Uh, so, poor Crycart's going to have to lose a card, most likely, unless I get lucky with the draw. Um, okay. Annoying, but I can survive it. Let's hope the Earth Doom doesn't hit for much. Mm. 
Oof. Uh, what's the situation with cards? I got a smoke bomb to go invisible. I know bottom attack action, that's the problem. Um I play it risky and I take the damage. I take Julius Advance away. I oh, just have such a good card though, because I can just attack one of. Yeah. Yeah, but great. Let's take the damage. Might live to regret that, but we'll see. Right. I need the golems to be kind here. That's not what I want. Um. I think I'll burn a card with Cragheart. Oh, I burnt three already. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I've got a dirt tornado because I have, I have all of them. It's probably the least useful right now. Okay, that's all right. Right. Okay, I need to um, massive boulder these two. So I'm going to move start moving up this way. Um. I have ice, so I can stun this elite golem. So that's what I'm going to do with Spellweaver. Mine Thief. Can't really afford you to long rest, so let's do that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, I think Perverse Edge and Scurry combo is the way to go here. I can stun this thing and attack this thing. Yep. That's fine. And you need to go slower than them. Oh, hang on. We can attack this thing, stun this thing. How's this thing gonna die then? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this will work. Yep, yeah, they're not going quickly. Amazing, good. Uh, Stone Golem suffers two damage. Ah, does it after it attacks? Uh, there's a range one though. They're not moving. Nice. Okay, good damage by that. Uh, there's different options here. I could stun this thing. I could stun this demon. I could stun it and then move. Krager has one, two, four. Ah, it's not going to get out of range though. Does Krager also have boots? Um, does still have boots? Oh, I can maybe move to here with Kragheart then. So completely out of range. And make all these golems funnel into here. Ah, that's a way to do it maybe. Yeah, let's stun this one. Okay, no damage, but it's what it is. Um, I have to play Reviving Aoife very soon. Um... Uh, do I have line of sight of this flame demon from here? Uh, I don't know what that means. Does that mean yes? Oh, that's really scary me. I don't know if that's a yes or a no. Uh, 
I've got a sneaky suspicion I don't have uh, I don't have line of sight. So I might not be able to stun it. Don't want to crack out to burn another card. I should have played Crater because I could have pushed them back. I regret this. I'm going to move Spellweaver forward. <sighs> Alright, let's go here. Let's move forward with Mind Thief. Skip movement. Attack. Is Earth Demon? No, oh, very dead. Oh, I can stun this thing. Oh, amazing. Okay, cool. And then the other one should die. I hope. Yeah, then Mind Thief and Scoundrel can gang up on it next turn. That works for me. Right, okay. Uh, Scoundrel's going to do open wound onto this. Will that be enough damage? Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. I might use my power potion now, perhaps. If it doesn't die, that's going to be very annoying. Does Scoundrel have cards to burn? No. Uh, awkward. Um, let's hope it dies. Oh wow, I didn't even have to play the power potion. Oh well. And that works. That works. Yeah, I should have played Crater. Eh, silly move, silly move. Um, right. Okay. I'll do massive bold onto these two golems, because this means it's just going to die anyway on its turn. And then I'll move one, two, three, four, five, six to here, and then I'm safe. Yep, that works. So I've got backup ammunition, so I can attack both. Oh, never mind, I'll miss. I can't remember who it was. I think it was, um. I think it's the scoundrel who had the object. Oh, spell weaver who had the objective um, to have at least one enemy on the map at all times. Uh, and that might well be possible, <laughs> given how things are going. Um, let's see if I can get that the timing right for that. That's right, you just take damage to yourself. That works for me. Right, awesome. Okay, um, you need a short rest. Well, that's annoying. That's the card I wanted to use. Uh, I just have to do this then. Um, I only got two cards left with Cragheart. I don't think Cragheart's going to complete the objective. Have five or more total cards in your hand and discard. Well, since I've only got six now, and it's going to go down to five. Highly unlikely, so that's not going to happen. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, sorry, we have to burn four cards. Um, it's very necessary, though. Right, who's going to get this chest? Maybe Mine Thief should go and get it. Um, I can get it this turn if I move here, but I'm not going to be attacking. Ah, oh, damn it. He 
You can't get a long rest with Scoundrel, I think. Oh, who's going to attack this thing? Yeah, I need to get a bit of health back. Maybe Mind Thief can go and attack this thing. Instead of looting. So I can stun it this turn. That might be better. Oh, I could immobilize the Earth Demon. And then... I could stun... Stun this. Ah, Flame Demon. Mind Thief shouldn't run out of cards. But Scurry here which gives me more movement. So I think doing a move for and stunning this is maybe not a bad idea. I can attack it next turn. Oh, that was gonna be a pitiful attack though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I might do that. Uh, Strong Golem moves three. So it's going to attack the Mystic Ally. That's somewhat annoying. I wish it attacked before I played my Reviving Aoife. Um, yeah, definitely going to immobilize this. Okay. Uh, Flame Demon's going super slowly. I think I'm still going to do my move, as I was saying earlier. This way I stun one thing and immobilize another, whereas the other situation only stun one of them. So, yeah, I know I'm burning a card, but I think it's the way it's going to have to be. I can loot some of this next turn. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna have to get all my burn cards back. Um, it's just... I think I had one more turn left I could have done it, but nah, I'm not risking it. And I'll move with Spellweaver to here. I've taken a lot of damage. Um, fortunately, I just I just do more damage than I've been able to control them with disarms and things. Oh, bye, ally. You'll be missed. Right, okay, I've got... Have I still got backup ammunition? Yes, I do. So it means I can attack both of these things and kill one of them. I've got to try and get back before this thing dies. <laughs> Let's do this, try and get a little bit more damage done. Don't miss. Okay, nice. Uh, yep, push you back too. There you go. So you do to get a turn. Scoundrel can do this. Hmm. I think I'll diff ditch swift bow. I'd like it for the looting, but 
<laughs> I don't think it's gonna be possible. Right, long rest with Krakow. Krakow's probably gonna be safe here. And Spellweaver needs to heal. I wish I had the reviving or the aid from the ether, because I could have healed twice. Um Go very slowly and stun this for the next turn, maybe. Right, you're going to loot and then start making your way back. Scoundrel can move forward and kill. Yeah, special mixture it. And hit it because that's a base. Five, basically. This should be enough damage. <laughs> In theory. Unless it draws I can retaliate. I got you like goggles. I should be able to kill it. I have that I do flanking strike. Just kill it so then the retaliate doesn't hit me. Yep, I think that's the way to do it. And then Scoundrel can get back here pretty quickly with move fives and whatever. Okay, alright, let's finish this off. I'm fed up with these demons. Let's get rid of them. I thought it seen the end of them with all the adventures we had with Hale. But no, it wasn't to be. Okay, that thing's dead. Um, that's fine. Right, get these things looted. Oh, Two special items. Helm of the something and mountain... Mountain hatchet, maybe? Oh, we'll find out afterwards. Um, lots of gold. Uh, I don't know if all I don't know if all of us have to get back to the exit. Oh, I didn't use battle axe. Oh no! I need to use one more item with uh, mine thief, and I can't. <laughs> so I haven't got any more to use. Ah oh, damn! I'm really bad at getting these personal goals. I've got to um, really uh, focus. Oh, it says, end the mercenary who looted the artifact onto the... Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got two options. Reach the entrance with all mercenary to escape with all the artifacts, or end the mercenary who looted the artifacts turn on the one hex corridor and sacrifice one artifact to the beast. I mean, it would be quicker if I did that. Oh. Interesting. Um, and if I try to go for one in the middle, I'll get more personal goals that way, because Cragcart will complete theirs. So Spellweaver will anyway. Scoundrel definitely will. There's only Mind Thief that can't, so I didn't use my Battle Axe. Hmm. Interesting. Sacrifice one of them to the beast. You know what? Maybe I should do that. Yeah, let's, let's do it and let's see what happens. Uh, we're we're going to hopefully get loads of uh, items and things um, throughout the rest of the game. So I think if we sacrifice one, I don't think that's two. I'm just interested to see what happens. I think I said in the previous video, I've never seen this scenario before, so I don't know the different outcomes. So let's just go for sacrificing one of them. And hopefully it will have, all have a happy ending. Crankheart shall rest. Um, yeah. Oh, 
I can't use um, explosive punch on this because then I wouldn't get my battle objective. Oh well. Oh well. Um, okay. Uh, can I get here this turn? Uh, if I s I'll, I'll short rest. Uh, I'll scurry my way over there. Um, well, if that's the case, then maybe I should go and get some coins. Um, go and get a coin. <laughs> That'll have to do. Yeah, that'll just have to do. Um, yeah, get a coin with everybody. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, well, they're not even attacking. Awesome. Uh, I assume the round will doesn't end immediately or end... Wait, did that use up the item? <laughs> Can you just do that? <laughs> it just popped up saying, do you want to use battle axe? I'm like, I'm not attacking anything. Hmm. So you, you can, can you just sacrifice the uh, the item if it has an attack action, even if you don't attack anything? Hmm, I don't know if that should be done that way, but okay. Uh, so I'll end here. Does the game end? Oh, we have to sacrifice one. Helm of the Mountain. When attacked, if Earth is strong, which it quite often is because of Craghart, you immobilize the attacker. Or Mountain or mountain Hammer. Spir summon Warrior Spirit. Oh, so it's a... How does that work? Oh, so the Hammer is an item you carry, but you get another summon. Um, well, I don't know about you guys, but I think uh, Mountain Hammer sounds the more fun item, even though I'm probably not going to use it, because ugh, melee summons are not very good. Um, but then Helm of the Mountain isn't... it doesn't feel great. How how often is this going to happen? Uh, and even then, mobilizing... It's a, it's a really cool helm, though. It looks epic, but ugh, the effect's not great. Um, so, I'll ditch Helm of the Mountain. I think walking around with the Mountain Hammer is more epic, so let's sacrifice it. Oh, we'll, we'll get a turn. Amazing, okay. You go and get a coin. Ah, interesting. So the game should, if, if it's been programmed, it should end now this turn. Um, right, okay. Well, I can move on to this coin. And get an XP for attacking this thing. Okay, it doesn't die, but I get the XP, which is nice. And then, um, oh, I'm going to be cheeky. I can get an XP here by attacking this with, um, because the backup ammunition will trigger. I don't mind, doesn't die. I'll walk onto this coin. I'll confirm the action, even though it doesn't matter, because I can't get that coin, because the game will end now. Right, let's find out uh, what happens here with the narration in the story. Should be the end. Yeah. Oh, no flavor text. Oh. Oh well. 
Um, all pretty even in terms of number of enemies killed. And pretty much on the same of damage. Well, I suppose we even didn't do much damage this scenario. Maybe because I didn't get the summon out for, until quite late. Damage taken, that was the big issue. Um, I mean, that's 16 for this spell, we've included the big attack that was on the ally, I think. But yeah, it took a lot of damage, which is um, something that's been happening in the last couple of scenarios. I've got to try and stop that. Um, but, oh well, I'm doing more damage to them, so that's the main thing. And yeah, and yeah, that using that battle axe, even though it wasn't an attack, because I didn't attack anything, got me that point. Interesting. That's not how I would have inter interpret interpreted the rules, but oh well, I'll I'll take it. Uh, oh, thanks, game. Stay hydrated. Yep. I'm <laughs> I'm living in a country that has heat waves, that is very sound advice. <laughs> right then. Okay, so I'm just looking at the time, and that's been about three quarters of an hour, so I'll do all the stuff back in Gloomhaven. And um, then we'll call it here. Um, shame there's no flavour text. Um, We don't find out that the Inox go back home or something? Um, interesting. Okay. Um, so we're back in Gloomhaven. That's a little bit disappointed, no flavor text, but well. Um, so, um, we've got perks, which is good. So let's sort that out first. So Scoundrels unlocked a new perk. Um, I want to get rid of these minus ones. So let's do one of consistency. And. Oh, we've got a couple of level ups, so we'll do them first. Okay, so Mind Thief and Spell Weaver leveled up. Um, racing ahead uh, of, uh, of Swift and Bastion. So let's have a look for the level up. So, spoiler alert, uh, I'll do the level ups on camera. Um, so, if you don't want to see these, feel free to turn off the video or to skip. Um, level up. Okay. Um, yeah, that top half of Pilfers, <laughs> I don't know how often I really want that. Uh, bottom half, oh, I'd have lost though. Hmm, that's what the other one is. Right. Well, instinctively going for Cream Overload would be better. Um, there's nothing really here I want either. It's a very quick card though, and uh, Mind Thief doesn't have many slow cards, that could be an issue. I think Crimea Overload is the right thing to take. I don't know what I'm going to take out though, because I kind of like everything I've got. Maybe Fierce and Blade, but sometimes Fierce and Blade is really useful, because you can just push things around uh, into those traps that we saw in this scenario. Like, pushes are... like, if you can utilize things like stuns and disarms and immobilizers and pushes and pulls to your advantage, then just do it, because it's really good. So, I'm going to have to think about this. I don't really know if I need Cramium Overload. I like everything I've got. I mean, maybe I might get rid of Hostile Takeover, because the bomb half isn't very... It's not something I'm going to use very often. Um, Hostile Takeover is good, though, because of the top half. So for now, I'll take out Hostile Takeover, Hostile Takeover and put Cramium Overload in. But I might switch them out. Um, having that 5 movement on the bottom is pretty good though. Um, so that's the case, there'll be a perk in here. Uh, two, I've got two perks, so that's what happens when you level up. Get a perk, I've got a perk from the battle goals. So, very easy choice. Do the second one of consistency. And then... Uh, I think I'll do the meditate. Add some more plus twos in and then I'll do the dust one later maybe. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I think the item that's showing here is. Yeah, the mountain hammer. So I'm going to have to work out what I'm going to do with this. I might end up selling it. Because, I mean, realistically, how often am I going to use it? And it's nice, though, because if I activate it, I can um, use it with uh, the swift, the scoundrels, like adjacency bonuses and things. Uh, oh, it's, just got, it's got one movement. It's so. 
I don't even know how that works. Like the, the hammer summons the spirit, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there for now. And if I want to sell it, I can sell it. Uh, I can sell. If you don't know, you can sell items for half their value, so I get 25 gold out of it. Uh, and then crystal has leveled up um, a little bit behind the mine thief, but not too far behind. Kind of what's that level for? Ah, oh, that's right. Ah, okay, so I've got the kill uh, card here. Kill one normal enemy. Hmm. I like Fort Beam. I've used Spellweaver before. I liked Fort Beam, but the problem is like two damage, especially at this higher difficulty. Just ah, doesn't feel very good. Um. So I I, I don't. I'm not a fan of Icy Blast either. It's a loss card. It feels if I can generate lots of elements with it, then you know. But I'm not at that stage yet because I haven't unlocked all the perks. Hmm. That, that could be a big heal uh, with the bomb half a spear of doom. It's like a one-time use thing. I don't even know what I'd get. I'd lose here. Kind of like what I've got with Spellweaver at the moment. Um, so maybe what I might do is I might take. I know it sounds a bit weird, but I might do something a bit different here. Instead of taking Fort Beam, which is what I normally do at this point with Spellweaver, I might take Elemental Aid, and then I can swap it in if I think if there's a scenario where I need. And I think the thing is, like realistically, Spellweaver is probably the one that's gonna retire soonest because of just the way the battle, uh, the career goals have worked out. So if I go slightly more supporty with Spellweaver and let Cragheart and um, Scoundrel and Minefield do damage, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's nice to like shield everybody for two on a turn. You know what? I am gonna take Elemental Aid. I'll mix it up a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to take out in the meantime. Um, I like having the Mystic Ally, but I want to try and up I can't upgrade its damage. Maybe upgrade its range, maybe? Hmm. Frost Armor I'm not really using. It's one less attack, though. That's the only downside, so maybe I might have to swap out maybe like... Impaling Eruption for Flame Strike, so I've got another thing, and maybe if I enhance Flame Strike, so it's a range 3 attack and not a range 2. Yeah, maybe I might have to do that, maybe juggle these about, maybe. Because Flame Strike is a guaranteed 3 attack, whereas I need the element for Frost Armor. Hmm. Huh. I like I like aid from the ether. Hmm. I mean, maybe I get maybe I ditch the summon, and I put an elemental aid. Hmm. I'll do that for now, and then in the next episode, I can maybe try in the next episode, and if I miss the summon, I can take the summon back in. Um. Let's do probably those perks. Um. I think I'm going to add in one, some of these plus two cards. You start, because I've, I've already got luck on loads of plus ones. Uh, I can't get rid of this minus one and minus, minus one and minus two cards with Spellweaver, so just trying to flood the deck with lots of positive cards is the way to go. So let's do the ice one first, because I can utilize ice a lot with Mind Thief and Spellweaver, so let's do that. All right then, uh, and then the next thing is, what on earth are we going to do next? Um, uh, there's the burning mountain. Yep, so that's been completed. Um, so I don't really know what happened there. I need to probably go back online and read the story again. The fact that we sacrificed one of the things for the to the beast is now the beast going to calm down and stop spawning stuff. Um, so then, um, the Iron Knots can go back home. We have no idea, are the Iron Knots going to return or not? 
Hmm. Don't know. So I'm not really sure what to do. We've got four different options. Um, now the problem is I, I would say, oh, you guys can comment what what thing uh, you want me to do next. But I'm recording this quite a bit in advance um, because I'm going away on a holiday. So, uh, do I, uh, I mean, I should really, because Jexar is probably sitting there twiddling her thumbs going, where have these mercenaries gone? <laughs> They're supposed to be doing a job for me. Um, but uh, I know the Inox are sometimes a bit of a... A brutal bunch, but going to their village and attacking them, I don't really know if I like the sound of that. Um, there are these two other side scenarios that I've unlocked, but... I don't know if I want to do them right now. So, I mean, the only other option is the decaying crypt, and that's when we were investigating the gloom. We found, from one of the um, scenarios, two different locations. One where... There were lots of, I can't remember the way around, lots of, ah, oh, that's right, one, there was lots of cultists, and we had to disrupt the cultist ritual, and then in the other one, um, there's lots of undead uh, about, and uh, we don't like the undead either, even though we don't like the cultists, so, do we go here and deal with all the undead? Hmm, not sure. I'm going to go away. I'm probably going to do record the next episode today, so I'm going to go away, have a cup of tea, think about it, and then I'll call the next episode for you. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Uh, I don't normally ask for likes. I say that, but I'm asking for likes a lot. Uh, it's not for the algorithm or anything, because obviously I'm a really small YouTuber, so it's, it's not like it, it benefits me in terms of like, you know, my, my channel's not monetized or anything, but it's just so people, I know that people are enjoying the videos and they want me to make more of them. Um, as long as people are enjoying them, I'll, and I, I'm, I always enjoy playing Gloomhaven, so if there's an audience, then I will always be happy to make more videos. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, um, hit the subscribe button. Um, in the Gloomhaven Discord, I'll put up a notification every week when these videos are coming out, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, all Gloomhaven videos come out every Sunday at 9am Central European Summer Time, until the clocks change, obviously. And I've also got Fury of Dracula on my channel as well. Um, videos come out for that every Friday, but during the summer there will be some weeks where there'll be a double upload, where there'll be then a match as well on Saturday morning. So if that maybe interests you, uh, then check that out too and uh, take care everybody and I'll see you in the next video very soon